question one of this pre-mock paper from the tuition center it's a complex number question you're told that z is equal to minus eight plus eight root three i find the modulus and show that the argument is two pi over three so with all these complex numbers questions just sketch the sector that it's in minus plus so we're just going to put it in here and sketch it so that we can put some values onto this graph we're going back a distance of eight and we're going up eight root three so the modulus or is the square root of eight squared plus eight root three to be squared so just type that into your calculator and you'll come up with an answer of 16. to get the argument theta which we'll write in here we have to get a first and then take our answer away from 180 so the tan of a is equal to o over a eight root three over eight which is equal to root three so you know you've done so much practice at this point you know that a is equal to 60 if you don't just type it into your calculator the inverse tan of root three and if a is equal to 60 theta is equal to 120. now you can use degrees or radian form in the leaving search so it's up to you 180 divided by 3 is 60 and 2 of them is 120 so you can use either one they do ask for it in radian form here 2 pi over 3 so that's part one done part two you're asked to use the Moivre's theorem to write z cubed in its simplest form okay well let's write out z first z is equal to 16 by the cos of 2 pi over 3 plus i sine 2 pi over 3 so z to the power of 3 we just apply the power to the modulus and to the angle Can see the trees will cancel here and you could just use your calculator here 16 cubed but 16 cubed is 16 by 16 which is 256 by 16 or by 8 by 2 so 256 by 8 is 250 by 8 2000 and 6 by 8 48 2048 by 2 which is 4096 the cause of 2 pi well based on the unit circle which you should know this point here is 360 or 0 and that's the point 1 0 so the cos of 360 is 1 which means the sine of 360 is 0 so the answer in its simplest form is just 4096 and always write the i part complex number should have two parts 4096 plus 0 i part 3 find the values of w such that w to the power of 4 is equal to z well that means that w is equal to z to the power of a quarter so we're going to apply this we're asked to give our answer in the form a plus bi so we write down z again we want z to the power of a quarter we have z is equal to 16 by the cos of 2 pi over 3 plus i sine 2 pi over 3 now I think these questions are when you have multiple solutions it's easier to do it in degree form so let's write this in degree form 16 to the power of a quarter by the cos of a quarter times 2 pi over 3 120 and we know the multiple solutions we apply 2n pi plus i sine a quarter times 120 plus 2n pi now we when we have a quarter a quarter we're always going to add 90 degrees if it's to the power of a third we're going to add 120 and if it's to the power of a half we're going to add 180 and these are the questions that can be asked at leaving cert higher level so if you have this tiny bit of knowledge you can jump straight into the answers quite quickly then it's just calculator use so 16 to the power of a quarter is equal to 2 by the cos of a quarter of 120 which is 30 plus i sine 30 now I'll write all the solutions first and then we'll write the answers here. The next one we're going to add 90, so it's going to be the cos of 30 and 90, 120, plus i sine 120. Then we're going to have 2 times the cos of 210, plus i sine 210. And then we're going to have twice the cos of 300, plus i sine 300. So this question can be done quite quickly. Now it's just calculator use. So typing it in we're going to get root 3 plus i for the first one 
we're going to get minus 1 plus root 3i for the second one. We're going to get minus root 3. We're in the tan section of the unit circle now. We're going to get minus root 3 minus i. And we're going to get 1 minus root 3i for the fourth solution. So four solutions when it's to the power of four. 90 degrees adding on. Practice this question. 